I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm thinking about selling my bug out moto van and what I'm gonna replace it with. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Oh boy. I love my supermoto. I love that brat 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 baby. <laughs> Yeah, we out here. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, first off, whatever motorcycle you ride, make sure you're wearing the gear. If you want to get my gear, I love this my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tint shield, my motor vlog camera, my airbag vest. I have links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of this video. I'll tell you guys. This bike is something else, man. Look at this. No, no clutch, guys. No clutch. I'm just gonna rip the throttle on this. Watch. <laughs> so for those of you guys that want to learn how to wheelie and you don't and you want to do it without learning how to do a clutch ups or whatever, get you one of these bad boys, man. Even though I do clutch ups most of the time. But this thing will power wheel it like nobody's been. I told you this thing just wants to wheelie, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's like cycle cruise. You got to wheel it, man. But, yeah, guys. You know, I'm getting tired of my van. Uh, the worst thing I ever did um, was get an old van. You know, my van is it's a 2004. And, I, you know, it's a, don't get me wrong. It rides smooth and everything is good, like I've told you guys in the past. But I tell you, with the older Chevy Express van, you're gonna have problems. I got over a hundred and what I got over a hundred and sixty some thousand miles. I bought it with like a hundred and what fifty or forty something, hundred and fifty some thousand miles or something. I only take it on a couple of bug out trips a year and I did take a layoff there for a while. Um, but I tell you, every year it's like I gotta fix it. I don't even hardly drive it that much and I gotta spend thousand dollars on it to get it fixed, whatever. Last time the AC went out, uh, that was like a nearly a thousand at the dealership. Um, the uh, the starter went out one year. The, uh, the the paint flakes off of those suckers all the time. I gotta do that, fix that myself. Um, now I, I had an oil leak before. I had to get fixed. That was about a thousand or something like that. It seemed like every year it's like a thousand dollars I spend to keep that van. You know, I'd have been better off just buying a, a newer van at the time. I was stupid, but it was an experiment for me. And um, and now. I was told that it's got a fuel leak I think because I was crapping around in the fairgrounds and I grounded it uh oh I got stuck in this field man oh that sucks oh shit you guys got stuck now <laughs> this guy's tow truck is a four wheel drive and he got stuck they had to get another tow truck to get him out, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still stuck. It's on there solid. Yeah, baby! And that may have caused some damage underneath, I don't know because that's an old van it's got a little bit of corrosion underneath and uh, that may have caused the fuel line to get messed up so uh, yeah supposedly it's a leaking fuel line on there I got to get fixed it ended up costing me one thousand two hundred and fifty six dollars and seventy two cents to replace that fuel line and fix the oil leak that's nearly half the cost of what I paid for the van <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah, we got some parking lot action up in here. Woo, almost hit that, that curb. That could have set me up for an F-dub day. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me get out of here, man. <laughs> Before they call the police on me. But anyways, guys. Um, Man, that's fun, guys. I tell you, that's, I love this bike. It's fun, fun, fun. But it ain't fun taking that bug out motor van in to get 
repaired every now every every year it seems like man so once i get it fixed up this time i think i might just go ahead and sell it man and build a whole new setup i don't know maybe you guys want to buy it um I don't know maybe you'll have but you know like i said it's the i have to be honest with you you know the van has never left me stranded out there on my trips across the country and i went all the way to wyoming colorado i've been up in the rocky mountains in that van I, i've been all over the place in the van and it never str left me stranded except for when i put those crap tires on and that one tire blew in utah damn i knew i shouldn't have been traveling so fast And that's because I was cheap and bought crap cheap tires. Never buy cheap tires. Get the best tires you can buy, guys. Because trust me, you don't want to blow out, man. It's really scary. <laughs> it can set you up for a real effed up day. But that van has been really good to me. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's always something. Little stuff that, you know, I got to get fixed here and there. And it's kind of, uh, so I'm, I'm really kind of ready for something totally new. I wanted to do maybe like a bus build or something but i can't do it in my eight you know i have an hoa where i live which i've been trying to move away from but it's been really hard to find something else in this crazy real estate market we're in for those of you that follow my channel you know i just came back from a bug out moto van trip and did a, several videos down in the mountains on my new property 20 acres unrestricted land with an awesome house that's built in 2010 it's like new uh, it's got open fields, it's got woods, it's got an underground bunker, backup generator. Uh, place is amazing, absolutely spectacular there. I can't wait to build a bug out motor vehicle on that land. I can do whatever I want on that land and I'm going to have a lot of fun coming up soon. Um, then I thought about maybe just getting an RV of some sort, but the RVs are all mostly all built. They're crappy built, man. They're just glued together, cheap pieces glued together. They charge a fortune for them. And the things fall apart all the time. You gotta get those things fixed all the time, RVs. You know, I see guys on YouTube all the time talking about all the, every, they always gotta fix up crap on it. It falls apart or something. And I see the best builds are really like getting a bus, cause those are built well. They're built for reliability and built strong and safe and you can pick them up cheap. Um, you can't get them fixed everywhere, I know that, and sometimes parts are not always easy to come by and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I know, give me, give me some recommendations. What do you guys recommend that I get to do for the next Fuck Out Moto Vehicle 2? Tell me what I should do. Should I just go ahead and buy a brand new van? Maybe the uh, Sprinter 4x4 uh, van and, and, and build it out? Uh, if I can find one, they may be hard to find now because everybody and their brother seems to be doing a van build now. Or what should I do? I don't know, man. Um, I really don't want to do... I, I'm kind of worried about getting a bus because I don't want to get something old and, and still be dealing with problems here and there. So I'm thinking maybe a new van, a totally brand new van and do a total new build on it and sharing that with the channel. And that way I have it for years to come and it's not going to give me any problems. I, I'll maintain it, I'll, you know, and, and get it rust proofed and everything else. I don't deal with any issues with it. Uh, but I want to get your feedback. That's why I'm doing this video for some ideas for my bug out moto van or should I say bug out moto vehicle 2, whatever that's going to be. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to do something new and different. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've been doing videos on it. I know a lot of you guys like Psycho Cruiser. Quit talking about it and do it. I want to do it. But I want to get, I'd love to get some ideas rounded up right now so I can formulate a plan so that when I'm ready to do the build, I know exactly what I want. So I want you to share that, ex tell me what I can get. I, for those of you guys out there that know what I should get, let me know i want to talk about it guys don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel bug out moto